What's up? What's up, everybody? Crypto Jumpstart in the Hello, house. Everyone. Welcome back. So, before we get started, to a what's we the are not financial advisors, and we are just sharing our opinions and thoughts. That's right. Half the stuff we say, we just make up off the top of our head. We listen to a lot of YouTubers. We follow the news, and sometimes things get confused and misconstrued, and so. Like we said, it's not financial advice, and、uh, we just like to talk crypto, and that's what we're here to do. Today's episode is I I think this is a really interesting episode or topic that I I'm always interested in, especially when I get into something new. And the, 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 basically, the topic is eight different ways. Well, it's actually a lot more different ways, but we're kind of we're going to try to focus on eight different ways that you can make money online through crypto. So we're going to hit on a bunch of different、uh, ways that you can make money online, and hopefully acquire more of it. Yeah. Well, you can acquire more crypto, or you can just earn.、Um, I mean, the, we'll get into it, but the idea is really just to give you guys kind of open your mind up to the possibilities, and then if you like something you hear, you can do it. You can research it a little bit further. We will drop links to anything that we mention, or not everything, but as many things as we can find links to. Because remember, a lot of this is going to come off the top of our heads. So, shall we just jump right into it? Sure, sounds good. All right. So, I put together a quick little list of just ideas of things, and I'm just going to talk it out. But, you know, crypto is like it's like a crypto revolution. It's like the future. So many things are moving to crypto. And if you if you could have been on top of so many things when the internet came in, you know, came into、uh, effect, imagine how you could have set yourself up if you would have known all these things that were going to happen. Nobody knew the internet was going to be so big. Nobody knew everybody was going to use email. Nobody knew everybody was going. Every business was going to have to have a website. You know, I mean, that's literally 25 years ago. Nobody had websites. Now, if you're a business, everybody has a website. Nobody knew that we would be contacting each other. Nobody knew social media would take over and become the number one form of marketing. Social media marketing.、Mm-hmm. So, anyways, the world is changing in cryptocurrency, blockchain technology. Is here, and this is the new revolution of the internet. Next one, and this is all about money. So let's get into all like eight different ways you can make money. So I will kick it off. So the first way, which is the way that everybody probably thinks of, is just to buy and hold. So Bitcoin is considered an asset, and historically it has always gone up, and it's gone up a lot. Um, since the very beginning, it's gone up. I don't know, something like thirty-three thousand percent or something ridiculous.、Um, so that's the first way to make money: is to buy Bitcoin and just hold and do nothing else. Got anything to say about that, Atua?、Um, yeah, I mean, just hodling. <laughs> Hodl. Right. So that is the simplest, easiest way to do it. Nowadays, you can you can literally. A lot of investment groups will buy Bitcoin for you, and they'll hold it for you. We recommend you have your own wallet and you learn and understand how Bitcoin works. But that's the first way you can do it. And historically, Bitcoin always seems to go up, and it goes up a lot. And if you were to average it over the, how much it's gone up over the last 11 years, it's just huge. And it's projected to keep doing that because it is a scarce supply.、Um, it's like digital gold.、Um, it's Something the world has never seen. It's decentralized. It's unstoppable. They can't shut it down. Governments, corporations can't shut it down. They can't stop you from sending it to who you want.、Uh, and you're literally your own bank. All right. So that's the first way. The second way that people are making money, which you've probably heard of and is obvious, is trading crypto. So there's Bitcoin and there's all these different altcoins, and you can buy, say, Bitcoin and Ethereum, and you, you can go into the exchanges and you can. Basically, trade. You can you can you can follow technical analysis, and there's a ton of、um, YouTubers that teach you technical analysis. There's a lot of、uh, courses that you can take. So, as far as trading goes, there's different ways you can trade, right? So, you can be a day trader where you look for setups and you look for altcoins that look like they're gonna you know take off. A lot of people like to trade altcoins and then they put their profits back into Bitcoin to grow their stack.、Uh, the other way is swing trading, which is A little bit more along the lines of what Atul and I do is we hodl, hold, and then we look for setups, and then we occasionally might swing trade a opportunity.、Um, if we hear about a new project, a new startup, or something, and it looks like it's got a lot of promise, we might buy a position in there with a target date that might be a month or two months down the road, or even six months down the road. And same with Bitcoin,、um, pretty much swing trade the cycles because Bitcoin is very cyclical. So 
If you want to learn how to trade, there's day trading, swing trading, um, leverage trading, like exchanges. A lot of exchanges now do leverage trading, which is extremely risky, but there's exchanges like BitMEX and Bybit that you can do 100 to 125 X, which means that if the market goes against you 1%, you get liquidated everything that you're, you're betting on. And that's basically what it is a bet, but you can learn about swing tra uh, leverage trading. I don't like it because it's basically, it's gambling in my opinion. Uh, and then the other way is bot trading. So um, an example of bot trading is there's a service called Hass online and with Hass Online, uh, there's a lot of different services out there, but that's just the only one that I know of that I can remember off the top of my head. Um, and what it is, is you basically buy a service and then you get these algorithms and these bots that integrate into all these different crypto exchanges. And you can learn how to basically automate trading and try to find patterns. And you can have multiple bots working on multiple exchanges, trading multiple different coins. Some guys do really well with this. So if you're really techie and you're really into numbers and stuff, that's another way you can learn. And the way it works is you just need to make a little bit of money off of each bot. So if you can average 10 or $20 a day off each bot, but you got 50 bots running and that's your average, that can be $500. And this works a lot better in the bull market, which is what's coming. So anyways, trading, another way to make money. If you want to get into it, it's definitely a learning curve. You need to know what you're doing. Uh, and if you don't, you know, you, you need to educate yourself and you can, you can start off with play money, a lot of exchanges and there's programs out there that will let you play trade fake money so you don't have to not believe money. money yeah play around all right so that's the number two way that you can uh make money um in the crypto field now remember this trading is just like any typical trading except you have a lot more freedom but there's also a lot more manipulation when i say freedom it's like anybody that gets a hold of crypto can just go into an exchange i mean they don't they just ask for your email unless you're trading larger amounts then you have to do a kyc for some but the freedom of trading crypto is, is insane and everybody's doing it around the world. It's growing like crazy. And there's a lot of money to be made there. Next. All right. The third way to make money in crypto is mining or staking. So you've probably heard of mining Bitcoin where you basically run your computer or computers and then they basically support the network and they basically solve these mathematical equations. And then if you um, have enough hash power and you solve it, you'll earn a reward, a block reward. So in the case of Bitcoin, you would earn Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin is so competitive that it's probably more profitable to find smaller coins and mine those. Um, very technical. You need to know what you're doing. And if you're going to mine, you either need to have a bigger operation. You need to live in a place where electricity is cheap and it's a learning curve. And to be honest, I've never mined other than browser mining, which you can do on Nimic, where you can just fire up your computer in, in the browser, which is a very unique concept. You can check it out, but you don't really earn that much. Um, and then there's staking. So it's similar to mining, except instead of mining and using all this computer, you just need to have coin and you can stake it. Once again, there's different ways of staking. Let's see, what do I have here in my notes? Um, yeah, so you can mine BTC, Ethereum is mineable. Ethereum is going to be moving to proof of stake. Um, you can set up a master node for some coins. Like there's coins like uh, Dash, Pivx or Velas where you have to have a minimum amount of coin and then you got to set up a master node and you can set it up on your computer locally or you can set it up in the cloud and when you do that you're supporting the network meaning you're helping process transactions and you earn rewards on top of your coins so in the case of for example dash you have to have a thousand dash in order to set up a master node for pivx you have to have ten thousand and for velas you have to have a million but of course the million dollars are way cheaper so it might sound crazy to go i need a million but the cost of those million is a lot cheaper than the cost of a thousand dash i believe i'm not sure don't quote me on that but you can you can go to i think there's a website called masternodes.online or masternodes.something where you can check out all the different masternodes and the, the pay and you can find so a lot of people like to invest in masternodes and staking staking is a little bit different where, where you can stake, for example, um, staking, you can stake a coin like Tezos. And Tezos, you don't need to run a masternode. You don't need to have a computer. You can literally, you don't need to have a powerful computer. You don't need to mine in the cloud. You can do what's called delegate your coins to, a, to somebody else who has a, a node. And then they will pay you the rewards and they'll just take a small cut. And you can do that right within a wallet. For example, Tezos, 
you can buy the coins and you can stake right inside a ledger. Or and then I from believe, like a site like mytezosbaker.com, you can compare the different delegators. Yeah, right. so it's kind of like uh, you know holding a coin and you want it to go up in value, but at the same time you're earning interest by supporting. So you you got two different ways that you're kind of you know you're earning the 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 increase in value, but you're also growing your stack. So some people have multiple master nodes, or they'll stake different coins and different master nodes. And some people have an entire portfolio of these. Uh, we do a little bit of staking, so we stake some Tezos. Um, I stake some um, Bellas, and soon Nimic will be staking. We'll stake that, and uh, we're always looking for opportunities to stake. So we're always doing research. So we'll probably cool do some the, more with like Tezos. Is if you have a Ledger, Ledger Nano S, or Ledger Nano X, and you have like the Ledger Live app, you can like actually do the staking like right from your phone, and right from them within the app. So really cool it's yeah and I, I believe tezos is about a roughly five to six percent annual increase so that on top of the increase of value in a bull market can that can be significant all right moving on so that's the third way see we're just getting started okay so the fourth way that i have here is you can invest on a DeFi platform so a DeFi platform is think of basically your typical finances but it's decentralized meaning that it's all in the code and it's all pre kind of figured and written and the calculations are all there. So you know what you're gonna get and what you're supposed to get. Um, some of the DeFi's are what you would call, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The code, you know, might change depending on certain variables, but two examples of DeFi is BlockFi. So the BlockFi uh, platform, I believe you can download lose a lot of these on your app and you can lend money or you can stake buy like their native coin and then you can stake their native coin and then you can there's a lot of different things you can do in in DeFi. another one is celsius network where you can lend so if you have bitcoin and let's say you're just hodling and you want to um you also want to earn interest on that bitcoin up to like i think it's like up to eight percent or something you can literally stake your bitcoin now the thing to keep in mind though is a lot of these DeFi platforms it's great. I would stake 100% of the Bitcoin, except that I have, except you are running risk because you have to literally give them your Bitcoin to stake. And then they pay you, you, know, you stake for six months, a year, two years. So the risk is that you no longer have control of your Bitcoin. You're not, you don't have the private keys in your wallet. So if something were to happen to them, like say they got hacked or they went out of business or they just disappeared overnight, which has happened in the crypto space, you run the risk of that. But the thing is, is ones like Celsius and BlockFi, they're, they're very big platforms, big companies. They have a lot of backing. So, you know, you have to gauge your own risk on that. But there's a lot of yeah, ones out there. Still that like a, there is still risk, but it might be more less yeah, risky than some ones that are smaller. But. Yeah. Still there. Yeah. There's there's smaller ones that will pay higher interest, but super risky. So you got to do your research and you got to really listen and find out. Um, so if you're going to do that, I would say never do 100 percent. Don't go all in, you know, a portion. I mean, five, 10 X a year with Bitcoin. Is that not enough? <laughs> all right. Number five. OK, this is a good one for a lot of you guys out there that might have skills already and you don't know much about crypto and maybe you want to change jobs. And I can tell you from experience. The, so number five is work for a crypto startup project in, in doing something like marketing or social media. Now, a two and I, our skills are in the YouTube industry era, right? Industry era. Both the two and I have over 100,000 subscribers in different YouTube channels. So what we did is we hooked up with a, a startup called Nimic and we helped them do their vlogs. Uh, when they started up, we ran into them by accident. And next thing you know, we became part of the team and we do their vlogs, we edit their videos, we do their tutorials. And we didn't know anything about crypto. We got started that way. And um, we were able to take our skills that we have and bring it to something to them that's valuable. In the crypto startup market or industry, there's a huge need for people that know social media, outreach, people that are good at outreach, marketing, um, YouTubing, influencing, things like that. So if you have skills like that, you can find a project and you, I mean, you could literally research them online and you'll see that most of them, so many of them don't do a very good job on updating their, their articles or blogs or their YouTube channel isn't very good or their marketing strategy is kind of like, you know, and it's because it's so techy and there's so many guys that are just into like programming and 
that you know that personalities of people that are good at marketing so any skill that you have might be able to transfer and um i can tell you that crypto projects tend you know ones that raise a lot of money tend to pay very well got anything to add to that atua no man just agree with that like like some i don't know what i was gonna say <laughs> all right well let's move on to number six all right so number six is um get involved where do i have get involved in a crypto community and earn bounties okay so a lot of startup um projects they have communities and um you if you like a project you can get into the community go to their discord or their telegram and some of the things available is um if you speak another language a lot of times they're looking for ambassadors and they're willing to pay a bounty in their token um if you have any skills like marketing or video or you're an influencer or anything you can think of you can reach out to the community and say hey do you guys have any bounties um i want to help out this project and can i earn some of your tokens um any smart project will have a community with bounties our project that we work for nimic you can go to nimic.com and go to their discord and they have all kinds of bounties and games uh, another thing you can do is you can research there's a ton of youtubers that give away free crypto every day every week and all you got to do is leave a comment in your address and then you might win so um you can find as many there's there's youtubers that give away as much as 50 to 100 dollars you know a week or per video and if you find those and you just basically on notification you can earn some crypto by just doing something simple and and there's also a twitter bounties where you can basically get involved in that so this is great stuff for if you're just kind of wanting to learn and you want to earn and maybe you live in a country where you don't have access to maybe banking and stuff like that you, but you do have internet you can get on there um what else we got uh yeah you got anything to involve in you've seen about that get involved in communities with tua um yeah i mean i've seen the giveaway stuff before for sure because it's it makes sense like for them because it's like a good way to get people to come check into their videos every time they release a new one and then there's a reason for people to, and like they're incentivized to come check in because there's something they could potentially win by just leaving their address so it's like okay all right win win so you can just re- reach that out you can crypto bounties you go in you can go into different projects and you'll find like tons of stuff and uh, if you're really into it and the thing is is you're going when you when you get involved in communities you learn really fast so you learn all kinds of stuff all right number 7 become a crypto educator or influencer so kind of like what we're doing right we started a youtube channel and now we are basically trying to kind of help newbies jump into crypto that's why we call it crypto jump start uh the other thing we do is we do tutorials um you know on how to do stuff so If you become a crypto educator influencer, you can make money off sponsorships. So some I mean, I can tell you top YouTubers in crypto space make a lot of money. It's probably one of the highest earning YouTube influencer categories period, hands down. I mean, I know of personally YouTubers that have around 40,000 subscribers to 40-50 and they're making 30 grand a month. And and I, and that's what they've told me. And there's guys making a lot more than that. and with the right strategy you can you can you know you can get subscribers pretty quickly um sponsorship so if you're a youtuber or a influencer there's a lot of times companies will reach out to you and they'll say hey we want you to promote our brand what are your prices and you can you can promote that way um affiliate commission so for example we use the ledger nano x ledger nano s and uh, we put a links affiliate link so if you buy through us our link we send you straight to the manufacturer that way you don't have to worry about getting it from a third party that might not be trustworthy and it doesn't cost you any more money but it helps us out and it gives us incentive to teach more people how to use what we think right now is the best hardware wallet uh, a lot of other uh commissions like if we refer somebody to an exchange that we use that we like um a lot of times they give a little bonus or commission for referring people um I always recommend that you use affiliate links only for products and things that you actually do use and you do believe in. I think that's the way to go. Uh cuz there's a there's junk stuff out there that will be like, "Hey, we'll give you 50%," but you're like, "That I would never use it." Um paid tutorials, we've been offered money to make tutorials for random um projects. Like we had uh Tezos Baker that they do delegated proof of stake and they wanted Atua does such great, such great tutorials. 
and he did a tutorial on Tezos and they reached out and asked if we could do their tutorial for them. Yeah, they're, actually... like the, they're like the same tutorial, but use our bake, our baker in them. Cause like when right. I did, I just used a, a random one that just seemed good. Mm -hmm. That was funny. Um, another thing is seminars. So um, I have a friend here in Costa Rica and he's kind of like become the leading Bitcoin guy here in Costa Rica because he speaks fluent English and Spanish, but he's Costa Rican. And he'll do seminars and trainings. He'll do corporate training. So sometimes companies will hire him to come in just to teach them how to use crypto. You know, he said, can you teach us how to use, educate our people, show us like how it works and give us ideas. Um, another one is um, some people will use their influence. And if they're into trading and technical analysis, they'll start their own trading group where they basically show, they give like setups and things like that. And people will pay money just to be a part of their group to see to, to, to see what they're doing to get kind of like preferential, tr not preferential, but first look at their trades and stuff like that. People will pay big money for that. And if you're into that, you can do that. Um, become an educator, influencer. Anything to add to that, Atua? No. Um, I mean, there's like those, yeah, there's those courses and stuff, right? Or where you get into that. Yeah, that's true. You yeah. can create courses. So if you become an expert in one aspect, you can do paid courses or you can do free courses like we do all the time on YouTube. Um, we do free courses or free tutorials so that people can um, learn and just get. Our whole thing is we want to help the, the crypto thing spread because we believe in it. I believe in it. And it's been it's been very, I would say, life changing to us. I never in a million years thought that I'd be working in tech, you know, and here I am. And I, well, the thing is, crypto didn't exist 10, 11 years ago. So when I, when we were, when I was young, if somebody told me, Hey, do you think you'll work? I mean, it didn't exist. It wasn't something you could even plan. So, all right. So that's number seven, uh, ways to make money online. We got one more, um, that we have here. Now, remember guys, there's a lot of different ways to make money in crypto, but this is to give you guys ideas ideas to go explore the possibilities. And it's kind of like a, you know, it's like a road, a maze of roads. As soon as you go down one avenue, you'll start to realize there's a whole bunch of other avenues down that one avenue. And then as soon as you go down one of those other avenues, one of those branches, there's a whole nother stem of branches and, and ways to do it. And that's why we say that you can't learn it all. And it truly is a rabbit hole. It's crypto and it's, and it just keeps growing every six months. There's new things that nobody saw coming. All right, so not, number eight, um, uh, kind of an obvious one is you can become a blockchain developer or dApp developer. Somebody who either you know works in, works in blockchain or decentralized applications on top of blockchains. Um, now here's the thing, from what I've heard, there's a huge demand in developers in this area and they're paying a lot of money. So for those of you that already are into programming, coding, um, you start learning things like solidity on Ethereum, or you start learning about blockchain cryptography, cryptography and stuff like that. Um, you could potentially up your income quite a bit. Now, if you're a newbie and you have a lot of interest in it, maybe you're into games and you're young. Uh, we got a couple resources where you can find, uh, tutorials and courses, how to get up and running in blockchain or DAP development and things like developing games and, you know, block games on the blockchain, stuff like that. So one is Udemy.com. And uh, what I like about Udemy is they have they have a massive community and, and a massive catalog of just about everything. And there's a lot of free stuff on there. So you might find courses that are free in blockchain. And you and then the whole idea is they want to teach you and get you started and then they'll charge you for the more advanced stuff. But there's also ones in there that aren't free that are really good that are you can look at the ratings, right? Um, so that's good to me. There's a ton of stuff on there. Um, uh, we'll put that link in the description. I mean, you can learn everything in there, social media, marketing, programming. I mean, how to be a YouTuber, everything, camera work, videography, you know, everything. Uh, the other one is one of our favorite YouTubers is Ivan on tech. So he has an Academy called, uh, it's, it's basically academy.ivanontech.com and He's a developer and he's a YouTuber, but he started off as a developer and he's got a whole school and a team of people that try to find the best possible way to teach people how to get started in the blockchain. So from scratch, or if you're an intermediate or advanced and you want to move over, you can go check it out. 
Um, I am not a developer and I have no interest in becoming a developer because it's just not what I do. I'm more along the marketing and influencer side, but um, I think if that's what you want to do, it's this is the time to get into it and get your feet wet and get your credentials and skill up and you can find a career in blockchain somewhere. I mean, there's got to be an avenue. And the thing is, is a lot of these startups and these projects and now a lot of corporate companies and big companies are starting to want to have their own blockchain um, organization within, you know, for example, like Disney was doing it. I mean, they're all doing it. Apple's doing it. Uh, Microsoft, they're, they're all starting to have their own like blockchain crypto divisions. Okay. Anything to add it to it? Not really. No, seems. All right. So uh, I hope you guys are taking in all this Pretty information. Good good stuff now what i want you guys to do is we like i said this wasn't to tell you every possible thing that you can do to make money in crypto but there's a lot of ways if you guys know of anything or if you have any ideas drop it in the comments we want to hear other ideas because we're always learning and we're always looking for ideas that's what i love about it it's like the wild wild west you know just learning new things every day and that's one of the reasons why we like to do tutorials is we do tutorials on exchanges, on staking, tutorials on you know security, hardware wallets, uh, tutorials on how to use apps, dApps, all kinds of stuff that comes our way. So um, if you have any ideas or any tutorials that you would like to see or maybe you haven't been able to find out there, also let us know there because we're always looking for ideas. Anything to add it to? Seems pretty good, I guess. Not too much that I can think of. That's yeah i mean i didn't want to go yeah, too too like... too nuts because there's so there is a lot of other ways but um i think that gives you a really good idea of where you could start how long we've we been going how long has this video been 27 minutes nice so let's uh let's try to get it under let's make it an under 30 minute video so right at a uh, 28 and a half minutes let's just wrap it up so All in right. closing i would say crypto is blockchain crypto is an amazing thing that we're seeing and we're learning and it's cyclical. So we're coming out of a long three year bear cycle after a huge upswing bull market in 2017. And then uh, we went down, 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 down forever. And then we went sideways and now we're starting to come back up. And it's the last three times it's been cyclical and it seems to repeat this cycle. And based on historical statistics and evidence and stuff, this the rest of this year and next year should be a very big year big time in crypto so getting started now and learning taking the time take it serious um is the time because you could find yourself who knows next year find yourself making life-changing money and a lot of people that are just investing in some altcoins and crypto are probably going to find themselves are learning to trade making life-changing money next year and that's what we're hoping to do we're hoping to get, build our way up there we've started small learn small you know we didn't get a chance to take advantage of so much of the last uh, bowl run because we were learning and then we started working with the company so we've been slowly kind of getting our bags you know but our, our whole thing is we want to grow with it over the next few years and uh, that's why we love it and we talk about it and we bring it to you guys so make sure you smash the like and hit that subscribe button and um, I'll, I'll let you I'll let you say closing to it. Yeah. See you in the next video. Later, everyone. All Later, right. Crypto clan. Jump start. Jumping out.